Inside the AHSAA, your weekly look inside Alabama High School Athletics, hosted by Luke Robinson. Brought to you by Coke, Alpha, Encore Rehabilitation, Edmondson Screen Printing, Wilson Sporting Goods, Russell Athletics, AL.com, and South Point Bank. Welcome to the Alabama High School Athletic Association's weekly update, heard exclusively on the AHSAA radio network. I'm Luke Robinson, and I'll be bringing you this week's top stories from the AHSAA. Principals and athletic directors from across the state will be converging on Montgomery next week for the fourth annual Principals and Athletic Directors Conference, which is hosted each year by the AHSAA Coaches Association. The conference will be at the Renaissance Convention Center and will get underway on Tuesday night with a leadership training course being offered for athletic administrators. AHSA Executive Director Steve Severi says he is hopeful that this year's conference will be the best attended since its inception in 2008. Steve Bailey, Director of the AHSAD and CA, has once again lined up a strong slate of conference speakers including motivational speaker John Croyle, veteran school board attorney Donald Sweeney of Bradley Arant, Bolt and Cummings Law Firm. Also set to speak are attorneys James Robert Seal, Elizabeth Carter, and Jane Williams, all of Montgomery. Croyle will address building relationships with students while the attorney panel will discuss bullying, sexting, texting, and the law. Principals and athletic directors will also be able to hear actual compliance case studies that member schools are dealing with as well as other issues that are facing the 21st century principal and athletic directors. Bailey said that this year's conference will cover a number of current issues that are affecting our member schools. We'll be back with more Inside the AHSAA in just a moment. Style points don't show up in the box score. Talking a good game has never won a championship. And we're sorry to break it to you. It's not the shoes. It's the work, the pride, the blood, and the tears. Because Russell's wicking sweat out of the equation. Russell dry power moisture wicking tees and fleece. The next evolution in over 100 years of raw performance. Remember as a kid playing touch football in the streets until the lights came on? Or pick up basketball in the driveway under the house lights? High school sports have always been an important part of our communities here in Alabama. So know that when you come to South Point Bank for the purchase or refinance of your home, we'll be there from the time your children play under the backyard lights till they're showcasing their talent under Friday night lights. South Point Bank, proud corporate sponsor of the AHSAA, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Spring sports teams are busy as bees as member schools head down the stretch of the boys and girls soccer, boys and girls tennis, boys and girls golf, boys and girls track, and softball and baseball seasons. Before we get into postseason playoff competition, however, the AHSAA will honor 96 of its most outstanding senior student athletes at the 26th annual Bryant Jordan Awards Banquet at the Sheridan Birmingham Hotel on Monday, April 11th. The Student Athlete Scholarship Program annually awards more than $800,000 in scholarship money while recognizing 48 outstanding scholar athletes and another 48 outstanding student athletes who have achieved against incredible obstacles during their prep careers. Eight scholar athletes and eight achievement student athletes in each of the six AHSA classifications will be in attendance as regional winners at the dinner. All 96 will be awarded scholarship money. One scholar athlete and one achievement winner in each class will also receive additional scholarship funds and then one overall student athlete winner and one overall achievement winner will receive even more additional scholarship aid. Several colleges and universities have also joined in to provide additional scholarship opportunities for the 96 regional honorees. A special thanks goes to the Alabama Sports Hall of Fame for its role in creating the program since its inception in 1986. Now for some important dates to remember. Section tennis tournaments will be held April 18th through the 21st, with state tournaments the week of April 26th through the 29th at Mobile, Montgomery, and Decatur. Golf sectionals will be held April 25th through the 28th, sub-state tournaments set for May 2nd through the 3rd, and the state golf tournament set for May 9th through 10th. The section track championships will be held April 29th through the 30th, with the state meet the following weekend, May 6th through the 7th, at Gulf Shores for classes 4A, 5A, and 6A, and at Birmingham Southern College for classes 1A, 2A, and 3A. The decathlon and heptathlon competition will be held May 16th through the 17th in Birmingham. AHSA baseball qualifiers begin a rigorous five-round best two of three playoff on April 22nd through the 23rd, culminating with the state championships at Montgomery's Riverwalk Stadium May 17th through the 21st. Soccer teams begin 
begin a three-round playoff on April 30th with the final set for Huntsville on May 13th through the 14th. Regional softball tournaments commence that same weekend with the final 48 state tournament at Lagoon Park set for May 19th through the 21st. As you can see, there are plenty of opportunities for high school sports fans to take in in an athletic event somewhere close to them in the coming weeks. We hope to see you there. Until next week, this is Luke Robinson saying thanks for joining us on Inside the AHSA.